Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to Townscaper, which is uh, not a city building game, it is a building tool, so this is kind of like a tech demo thing, but this tech has been impressing and surprising many, and the developer, which is a solo developer, put this on Steam so we could check it out and just see where the game is gonna go from here. Well, if it's gonna even be a game. So today we're encountering Townscaper. All right, so it's not much, it's not much, but the technology behind this game, uh, well, this, this thing, this builder, is very interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, and I've been watching this in development on Twitter for a long time. It is made by Oscar here, who's on Twitter. Uh, so I use Twitter to keep up with a lot of these things, and I've been following for a while. And I've seen this sort of develop over the years, the last year or so, maybe two years, and it's gotten to a point where it's sort of interesting to just kind of check out. Uh, so here's, here's, here's the tech, here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, we've, we've built a platform. We can extend it. We can just click and it builds. Okay, okay, nothing too impressive, right? Nothing too impressive. Let's click there. Oh, oh, it's a house. Hmm, interesting. It's a house. Oh, it just, it just grows. Oh, there's some procedural generation for little things. Look at this breathing bush right there. Oh, it's now over there with a little cabinet. Look at that. Oh, the house is getting bigger. Look, there's a little door and a chair and a light and, and boots, I think those are. The door's gone. Door's now over here with a post box. Oh, this guy's expanded. And look, some birds have nested on top of the, the building here. Birds have flown away. <laughs> look at this. This is starting to look rather interesting. Let's create a little pier going out here. But let's uh, do something a little interesting. A little extension out to the side. Ah, let's make this a little bit of a tower. And this, this is the tech. This, this is what it's all sort of about. It's just this procedural sort of Lego tool where everything can just be built in any possible way. And it, it just goes on and on and on. And this is, this is not Obviously, this is not a game. There's no win conditions, there's no resources, there's none of that. Um, but that's what that's what Oscar is sort of trying to figure out where to go from here, because this can very easily be a game. And I've got a lot of thoughts on what could be done. I'm not gonna say what should be done, but what could be done. You know, you can just have a resource mechanic, whether it's money or mining or whatever, to limit how much you build. Basically, the the main thing to make this a game is limitations, right? Right now, this is sort of like Minecraft creative mode. You just blah, 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 right? But that's sort of a builder, right? To make it a game, the actual thing that makes a game a game, I, I used to say this in my interactive media classes a lot, to actually make a game, you are just designing inconvenience, you're just designing inconvenience. You're just placing more and more inconvenience. The more inconvenience there is, the more of a game it becomes, right? And that sounds weird. That sounds weird. But that's what all games are. Think of sports, basketball. It's like, oh, what is the hardest possible way to make it so that someone can put a ball through a hoop? If the hoop was just here and you had the ball, that's not a game. That's putting a ball through a hoop. If we put like a bunch of people on the other side trying to block you, let's put the hoop up in the air, you know, let's make the court a certain size, give you points for further away things, those are all inconvenience things, right? So you, you can just 
make things as inconvenient as possible and then it becomes a thing. So like, for example, to make this more inconvenient, you can add resource mechanics, you can add basically, you know, city building mechanics. They're just, you know, money is a limitation. Budget is a limitation. How do you make money? Do you have to export things? What about taxes? I don't know. There's all sorts of things that you kind of have to do. But right now, just this flexibility, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, do the co different colors interact differently? Right, we do have different colors. Um, uh, how do I show this off? Right now I've been stuck on orange, but let's... Uh, the colors affect the houses, so there's a red house, right? And then we could build, for example, a green section over here. If I... let's say we want to... build out a little leafy bit. And then we could build a green section. Right, this is the green district. Right? And see, you can, you, it just, it just works. It just goes and does whatever. Like, it can be very, very interesting. For example, let's, uh, let's use this color here. Uh, I'm gonna extend this building with a different color. And it just, so it just, it just does stuff. Like, I don't know how this actually works, but let me try do some interesting things here. Let's fill that, let's fill that. Because, like, everything just goes, right? Uh, if I were to... Oh, look, that... I, I just clicked kind of randomly, and that looks super impressive. That looks super impressive. Um, let me shift to maybe another green. Let me build something. Look at these stairs right here. Like, it it somehow takes into account, like, how people are gonna traverse this. Like, you can, you can see, see this becoming, like, a... Studio Ghibli town builder. <laughs> You know, and even if you have something like this, you can click to remove and just have a thing there. Look at that. How do I? There we go. Right? You can just have that. That just looks so cool. Like, you can even get rid of that one. That on stilts is kind of weird, but let's put that back. <laughs> right? It's it's already looking way cooler than anything I could I could make, right? So yeah, it I could see this going in so many directions. Like, citizens would be great. I'm building Venice. Yeah, I've been to Venice. It kind of looks like this. But people, like, have been making really, really impressive stuff. You can see the grid is that big. So you can you can do all sorts of things. Um, but if I just keep going, this is going to look amazing. This is going to look amazing. And at, like, no effort. But it feels like I'm doing clever things. It's like, ah, I got rid of these tiles and now that looks kind of nice, right? <laughs> but you can see there's like even ladders going up to take into account. Oh, how are they going to reach up there, right? See, there's ladders coming down here. Like there's so many little details. Look, see, like look at this ladder right here. It's someone's front door. The post box is now down there at the sand level. And there's a way to get up and down. So paths to make it through all of this is really great right how high can you build let's find out let's uh go yellow and just keep building on top of this let's make a super high thing let's go to white for the rest of it uh how high can we go i don't know i've never tested this Uh, it, there must be a limit, right? Is it, is there not a limit? Uh, <laughs> higher than you would need to. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yes, okay. H high, higher than you would need to. Uh, this is this is how high up we are. Um, okay. 
There's there's plenty of space. There's plenty of space. <laughs> oh, control Z works. Let's go back down. Let's go back down. Control Z works. Isn't this nice? Ah. Uh, so you can build skyscrapers if you so desire. Okay, let's go back down to there because I like my little tricolor house here. Actually, it's quad color. Uh, I like building in white. Uh, I suppose we could just keep going. Like, there's all sorts of impressive things you can build. Like, if you do this, oh, let's not do that. You can just build towards yourself at an angle and it does weird, interesting things, right? You can have this sort of thing going on, right? So that's an option. <laughs> And it's just, it's just so cool. It works for what it is, for what it is. It works so seamlessly, so easily, like with, with no effort whatsoever. It just works. Which is very impressive. It's very impressive. Right? So, developers looking for ideas, uh, probably don't message directly, but we, we can ponder, we can ponder. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can leave comments down below. A developer might come along and have a look. Wouldn't be the first time a developer checked out uh, one of our videos. But um, like, w we could take this in so many directions. Uh, what would the challenge be for a city builder like this? Hmm. Like, I suppose, instead of colors, instead of colors, we could have different types of buildings. So for example, all the orange buildings will be industrial, right? Uh, all the green buildings will be residential. So kind of the RCI zone mechanic, it could be, right? If we, if we just had like green, red, blue, or green, orange, blue, it could be like an RCI city builder, right? You're just zoning, um, which would actually kind of work like if this if this was just headed in a sim city direction and became an rci city builder that that would work fine like if let's say you could even just sort of mix it tier wise so for example this could be residential and then if you put like orange buildings up here this becomes industrial right and then if you just put some blue that's some commercial Right, that that would that would work, right? That that would actually kind of work. And then you know it has the whole taxes stuff. Let's put a hole through there, right? Like that would actually kind of work. I I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad if that was the direction. <laughs> you know, throw in pollution mechanics. You know, have people walking around. Then you just throw in some some pre-built structure. So for example, we could, let's say, um, like you can use this system to build things. So let's say you wanted to build a school. We'll make it yellow. We can design, we can design what a school would look like. Now, I don't know what a school would look like <laughs> in this world, but let's say, let's say, they would have a tower. They would have maybe like a little courtyard thing. I don't know. Is that? And then they would have supposedly some rooms for classes, right? And that can be that can be like a school building. And then it's like a preset build where it's like, oh, you know, you want to educate your citizens, put a school there. I mean, that's an option. That's an option, you know? So like buildings, like preset buildings could be designed within the system. And then that's just the preset thing. And then the actual tiles here, it's basically vertical zoning. Venice Sim Builder, right? It could work. It could work. You could have different maps, you know, this is on water. It would work exactly the same if it was on a desert, right? Or in a jungle, right? <laughs> like changing the theme is easy. Water is just, I assume, the easiest to work with. You don't have to design it. It's blue. It's blue, <laughs> right? Let's bridge this over there. 
And then connect that like that. Yeah, like that. Look at this. Wouldn't you live here? Wouldn't you live here? We're just calling that yellow building a school. Imagine the greenhouses are residential. The orange houses are... We actually don't have a lot of orange houses. Uh, industrial and the blue houses are commercial. I would play that game. <laughs> I would play that. <laughs> Water is animated better than uh, in some games, though. Yeah, like... Um, the what's actually... It's fine. Uh, this Is this technically low poly? You gotta be careful when you say low poly. I think it is low... I think it is low poly? Low poly-ish? It's just textured. So let's say we want to have an industrial area. So you'd want to build that a little bit further away from the rest of your city, right? You don't want to be living next to all the industrial area stuff. And then we can have... this. And let's say to make it look more industrial, you you want more of these these metal things. So, oh no, not that one. Okay. Oh, oh. So we want to build, for example, up. We could make this look kind of like a warehouse thing. Can I make this look more industrial? Yeah, if it's just on this and then we could have uh, we can just extend out from here no oh, no i want that that there we go industrial zone <laughs> <laughs> this this is surprisingly cathartic to do. Oh, that's cool. Look at that archway. Right? If it was just themed, obviously this is all similarly themed where everyone gets little bush plants and, and doors and mailboxes. But if you change the little accessories to something else, it could make different sections of your city look very different. So like in, like if you were to build everything in orange, or if you were building an industrial zone, uh, it wouldn't be these little plants, but it'll be gears and cogs and stuff like that, right? Uh, viewfinder on the bottom of the green tower is awesome. You mean this thing? This little cove underneath, right? That's that's already that's like one of my. I would live here. That that looks amazing. You know, th in, like throw down some cranes over here. So we got the school. We've got whatever white buildings are. <laughs> we've got our residential, we've got our commercial up here at the top. Not the best spot. Look at this. This is actually really, really cool, right? Townscaper. Townscaper. Now, this is going to be a shorter video because there's really not that much to show off right now. But as it stands, as a, as a little tool that could become a game, this is very impressive, isn't it? Mm. Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, and I, I, I really do hope Oscar could turn this into something. This is basically he's released a creative mode. <laughs> you can build in any color. But throw down some preset buildings, zoning, or whatever direction. Like crafting in Minecraft, right? In creative mode, you just have blocks. You just place the blocks however. But you have survival mode, which many find more interesting. Uh. Some role-playing need to throw together a Venice-like city. I mean, to be a game, you need, generally, a fail state. Even if it's a soft fail state, not necessarily a you have lost the game. A soft fail state. Going bankrupt and everyone leaves your city. You know, that, that can be a fail state. Um, you need win states, which aren't necessarily you have won the mission, but, you know, goals. You need goals that you can accomplish. And you need inconvenience, limitations. What's stopping you from just building immediately towards your goal? You know, it, it, it can be those three things and something like this can be very, very fun. And I wasn't actually thinking about it before, but I think the zoning idea actually is the easiest to implement. It's probably maybe not the best, but since there are already these colors to choose from, you know, I can see 
zoning plus pre-built structures to be a way to go. Right? Hmm. Right? That could be really cool. It's a it's a it could be a vertical sim city. A vertical modular sim city. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, for YouTube, that's a 20 minute video at of Townscaper. You can go check it out if you like. It's by Oscar. Follow on Twitter to to keep up with with the development of whatever this is going to turn out to be. We've had some thoughts. I have some preferences, but we'll see where it goes. Very, very interesting. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, check out all the links down below. Um, Patreon, always a good way. Uh, YouTube member, Twitch sub. Thank you so much if you do. Uh, otherwise, uh, join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and the wonderful Discord community. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now. You can see so, so much more content. Thank you all so much for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Townscaper. Mm. Mm. <laughs>